So a great question to ask with all of these Taylor and McLaurin series is, why do we even bother trying to do it? Well, the answer is, we create ways to make things that are useful. In statistics, one thing that gets discussed a lot is the idea of a normal distribution. Now, in a normal distribution, area underneath a curve can represent a probability that something will be the way that it is. So we have a mean, we have standard deviations. I'm not going to get too statistical here. But depending on how far away you are from the mean, it can mean certain deviations from what's normal or expected. To find the probability that something is expected or not relates to the following function. There's a little bit more to it than that, but this is the baseline function that they use for the normal distribution. Now, associated with that would be certain amounts of area. So the probability of a variable being between two values along here is going to be equal to the area associated with it. Now, in our case, we're talking about integrating e to the negative x squared dx. There is no closed form of the antiderivative of e to the negative x squared. However, through the use of a Maclaurin series, it's possible to at least make this more reasonable. So if this is something we know to be true, it follows that e to the negative x squared would be what we get by replacing our x with a negative x squared. Now if we were to expand this out a few terms, we would see some patterns relatively quickly. This would be 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth over 2 minus x to the sixth over 6 plus x to the eighth over 24, and so forth and so on. By expressing e to the negative x squared in terms of a polynomial, all of a sudden integrating this polynomial is a piece of cake. There are gigantic statistical tables associated with certain numbers that are along here being associated with certain probabilities, and all of those probabilities are accurate to four decimal places. In order to get this accurate to four decimal places, we need to get far enough out to where the denominators are bigger than 10,000. The good news is that starts happening around 7 factorial. 7 factorial is equal to 5,040, whereas 8 factorial is equal to 40,320. So once your denominators start getting that big, it's possible to get an answer accurate to four decimal places without actually integrating e to the negative x squared. So this is just one place where things like this show up.